Welcome to my brief tutorial on how to mod Morrowind on original Xbox. To start with, you're going to need a copy of the, the game disc, Morrowind Game of the Year, and you're going to want to copy that to your hard drive. So needless to say, you're going to have to have a soft or hard modded Xbox. I'll speed this up here so we don't have to sit through it. Alright, so once you have your game copied to your X or yeah, to your hard drive, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to connect to your Xbox through FTP, FileZilla, whatever you use. And you're gonna want to transfer the Morrowind.xbe uh, from your from your game folder over to your desktop. And you're gonna need a hex editor, a program to like hex edit files. I believe I'm using HXD, and I can link that in the description. Now, what we're doing is we're basically just uh, we're changing a couple Z's to D's. Uh, effectively, what this is doing is telling the game to read from the quote-unquote disk. Uh, the the way having your games on your hard drive works is that it's kind of like uh, a virtual disk, but your actual hard drive. So we're telling it not to use the cache and instead to read right from the game folder or the quote-unquote disk. Uh, the reason you'd normally have cache is because it's a lot faster to load off the hard drive than off the disk, but the cache has a file size limit and it's much easier to centralize things in the game folder. Then you're just going to upload your modified, your hex edited XPE back to your Xbox. And next we're going to test it with a mod. Uh, I will provide a link to this mod, a uh, uh, Google Drive upload or something in the description. Uh, it's basically a portable house mod, a uh, little bottle that uh, you can use to teleport to a house, a little private cell. So we're just going to upload those directly to the data files. Uh, of the game directory, data files. Uh, it's good practice to clear your cache uh, in between running the game. Just is. I'll speed up our loading screens here so we can get into game kind of quickly. So I chose this mod in specific because it is an ESP and uh, a plugin uh, with which requires meshes, textures, and an icon, uh, which are just here as loose files uh, in your data folder. So this is a good mod to showcase that you can read loose loose files uh, in, in, in your data files off the in the game folder, and it will load plugins. So here you can see everything's rendered nicely, and got our little custom house here. It's a small little cell. Of course, you're going to have to keep in mind that Morrowind has a 64, or the Xbox has a 64 megabyte uh, RAM limit, 